Hi folks, welcome to Barb Makes Things. Today, I begin the process of making my octopus robot familiar. Barb Makes Things! As I said in my Maker Faire video, I was inspired by Alex Glow's Owl Archimedes and Odd J's Spider Asi to make my own wearable robot companion. And an octopus feels about right because I generally feel like I'm juggling eight things and I'm way more graceful in water than on land. I have a tentative plan that should control the motion of all eight tentacles with three motors. It won't be complete control, obviously, but it should hopefully give enough variety of movement. One possible method is this kind of straw hinge, which we'll talk about in a different video. Another method is one adapted from an article on Hackaday by Joshua Vasquez, who snagged the idea from the Stan Winston School. I'll tell you, there are a few better resources when you're trying to make interesting motion than the practical effects industry. They've done it all. This is my rough first draft which I didn't film making, but this should give you an idea of what I'm going for. For version two, I modeled and 3D printed some basic discs and attached them to IV tubing because turns out we had a thousand feet of IV tubing at Crash Space. I started in Fusion 360 from a sketch of the shapes I would need and then extruded the basic disc, removed the center, added a flange, and opened holes for wires to feed through. Added a way to secure it to the IV tubing, and then made some side tabs to help attach the outside skin to the underlying frame. Since this tentacle will need to taper toward the end, I'll need different sized discs. I assemble them by punching holes with an upholstery needle, lining up the flange hole, and threading a wire through, which is much easier said than done. Solo was very interested in what I was getting up to. <laughs> you can't keep that. Feed some wires through, and I have the new version, which kind of works. Kinda. So I probably need to have these be closer together and possibly fewer discs overall. Also, next time I plan to measure and punch the holes all at the beginning so I can keep the spacing consistent, but the taper looks good. The size and shape of the body is going to rely heavily on how efficient I can make the tentacles, and as a result, how small of motors I can use. So I'm holding off on designing the entirety of the body until I have working arms. If you like this video, share it with a friend. If you didn't, share it with an enemy. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Make sure to take a look at some of my other builds and how-tos. There are a lot of them. Don't forget to subscribe, and if you click the little bell, you'll be notified whenever I upload a new video. If you'd like to get videos a little early and support my channel, you can visit my Patreon page. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.